Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another project video. I'm Noir Wise, designer here at Adafruit. I'm Pedro Wise, creative tech here at Adafruit, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pi Zero radio project. Yeah, so this is an NPR1 radio. Uh, this was actually by Todd Trace. He actually wrote the software in Node.js. Yeah, so Todd does a lot of the work on Adafruit I.O., and he wanted to come up with this project to show off um, the touch capacity sensor and the brand new um, I2S amplifier. Yeah, his original idea was to mill it out of wood, since he's an avid woodworker. So he actually sent us quite a few different bits of uh, cherry wood here. And uh, we sort of collaborated on the project. So we put together a 3D printed enclosure, and uh, we were going to combine CNC milling and 3D printing. So the cool thing about it is, like you were saying before, is that uh, we have some controls. We've got some play, pause, and some volume buttons. But instead of using mechanical buttons, uh, we're using capacitive touch buttons. Yeah, so we're using the conductive filament from Protopasta, and we've actually used their filament before on our battery tester tweezers and our dual printed NinjaFlex um, LED gloves. Yeah, that's right. You're probably wondering, you know, how do you connect wires to plastic? You can't solder to it. Yeah, so we're connecting the wires to the buttons using bare conductive paint. Yeah, we've used this uh, on those other two projects as well. So it's a little paint that has conductive particles in it. It dries over time, so it works really well in this project. So on the outside of the enclosure, it's actually wood PLA. It's hemp PLA, and it gives you this kind of cool looking uh, texture. Uh, so other components in the project, it is a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, it has an amplifier, like you were saying, and a speaker. You could have it battery powered, but we opted in to just make it uh, powered from the USB uh, port on the Pi. Uh, all the ports are accessible, so you can get to it. Um, and everything was put together using Autodesk Fusion 360, so it's completely parametric. Uh, we're going to release the file so you can download it and modify it if you want to make a remix or something. Yeah, so you also did all of the um, paths inside of Fusion 360 as well to do all of yeah, the Yeah, that's CNC. right. There's cam tools in Fusion 360. We're really new to it, so I had to do a lot of experimenting. That's why I have different pieces here. Uh, I opt in for making it a little bit smaller to because uh, the, the pieces of wood and the, the build volume on the, on the other mill isn't super huge. Uh, so we tried different materials too. Instead of just wood, I thought it'd be really cool if you could see through the topper. So uh, I, I picked up some, uh, some acrylic. It's just normal acrylic. And we etched out the NPR logo that you can see there. And the cool thing about the, the design of it is that there's no hardware required to like mount the components. Everything just snap fits together, friction fit stuff, which works really well. And this uh, definitely is an update to uh, most radio projects when you first start out with electronics. It utilizes software, 3D printing, design, as well as soldering. That's right, so if you guys want to put together this project, we'll have a tutorial on the Adafruit Learning System. I'll have a full uh, circuit diagram, and the software is available on GitHub. We'll probably put together a uh, ready-to-go SD, uh, ready-to-go image, so you can burn it to your SD card. And with the updated Raspberry Pi Zero, we'll definitely be doing a lot more Raspberry Pi-based projects. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys liked the project. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.